What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Boss Eddie's Live Radio Show. Award winning now. Spreaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies and. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this before I get into the jams. I need y'all to understand that leave people alone. I stop judging others. I stop gossiping about them. I stop wasting my energy in jealousy, competition, and revenge. I started seeing the divine in everything. I started realizing that everyone is on a different journey. I let them do their thing. And I started focusing on mine. I started swimming in my own lane. There is no point in wishing others harm if we can't wish them good. We need to learn to leave people alone and let them enjoy things. And thanks for Erica Wesby for sharing that. But I had to read that on my on my show tonight. We really need to learn how to just leave people alone. And you know what I learned? When you leave something alone, it'll leave you alone. Let's get to the jams, y'all. We got Touch Bass off the Magic's app. You know your girl DJ got to rock the house. Let's go, y'all. Ask me what will be Everybody Wants to know from me They're just asking Never listen to what I say They're just talking without Joining me day by day Everybody Ask me what will be Talking carry. They want that top drop music out, windows down, G's up. 
They want to top drop music out, windows down, G's up. Top drop with the music up, the windows down, windows down, G's up. They want to the windows down, screaming G's up, riding in the top drop. They want to top drop. I copy like Roger We could climb some trees and get perspective You must not have heard Why'd you wanna be around me in the first place? She said, baby, I've been down Oh, you feel the heat You can take what you want But when you take it from me Make sure that you fall upon the floor Down to your knees I'm not betting on a beat to give me peace. I'm not asking for a miracle, just you and me. Yeah, I want a miracle to give me peace. I'm not asking for a miracle, just you and me. supposed to be yeah. Yo, baby move a little more close to me Come and let on. me talk to you whisper something smart to you yeah. you need that soft love i'm gonna put that hard in you this is the start to you warm it up starting to feel some type of way where i put my heart in you yeah. so i'll be choking smoking while i'm strolling and <laughs> while i'm always rolling 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 yeah. but now we in it come here girl i'ma get it think yeah. i'm playing talking all that shit got you doing these splits in Split now you love it think i'm playing your bugging got my hand on your throat sideways asking you want it yeah you want it Let's camera Action when we do our thing Man, I know, know Can I get a close up of you moving that thing? Cause you know what we do is something different tonight Got your body on my body, I've been feeling alright If you want it Then I want it, baby, just pose for me, yeah. Up next, 
be doling out of my mouth. Oh yeah, we're doing the beauty. Put on the beat. Oh yeah, boom boom boom, I love the way you wine, baby. You dey make me go crazy, the crazy, the crazy. I love the way you smile, CC. You dey make me go crazy. What's your name, Alima? Yeah, Alima. And where you come from, Colombia? Welcome to the show, y'all. Where you come from, Colombia? Yeah, Colombia. I I'm I'm not you do, you do, I'm I'm not you do, I'm you do, I'm not you do, you do, I'm not 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 Million. The man behind the flag. Narrow. 
The man behind the flag All my team really wanna do Yeah, it's such a million A million A million A million A million The man behind the flag Bars De Nero 500 uh, The man behind the flag And yes, I'm in the building These OGs out here And yeah, they trying to kill me because they scared that I might steal the shine We don't rap or trap or nothing, nigga, but the grind We looking for them sold out shows Fuck the cars, fuck the jewelry, and even fuck them fly clothes But it's not about that shit, niggas got the game twisted Walking, picking around, yeah, looking like some little bitches They get the stitch, cause we real with it On my YG shit, nigga, yeah, I tell them to come and get it a million is all I need for my family Fuck the rest, my team gon' be on automatically Cause we the best We rollin', rollin', smokin' on that zone You niggas gon' get it I'm gonna put my team on Free low speakers I'm gonna have him a million And when he get out He can say that you never The man behind the flag All I wanna touch is a million The man behind the flag never the man behind the flag, all my team really wanna do, yeah, it's such a million, a million, a million, a million, a million. The man behind the flag, bars, the narrow 500. Uh, and once I go on tour, my family be set. My kids will love a spending seven figure check. Because he's spending, and yeah, all that bread I'm on tour, making more money instead Murder the stage and tell them niggas I'm a legend And have them niggas on their knees, fucking pledging The 500, because I put a zone And now we can't take off and be on their own And then I can sit back and have my family time Cause I did 20 tours for 40 million, I count the dime And then they can't sit back and let the paper stack and once my kids in college, I make a comeback Better than never, niggas still making cake And all you niggas hating because the bread I make But why though? Cause I'm out here trying to get a million And them dollars in the bank, yeah, you know your boy just never The man behind the flag, all I wanna touch is a million The man behind the flag Nero. The man behind the flag, all my team really wanna do, yeah, it's such a million, a million, a million, a million, a million. The man behind the flag, bars, the narrow 500. Uh, DJ Dinero, this is your favorite DJ. Renee caught up.
these days Oh, you're kidding me I'm crying, love you, check on me Oh, you're suffocating me I'm crying, I love you, check on me Oh, you're suffocating me I'm crying, I love you, check on me Oh, you're suffocating me I'm crying, I love you, check on me That DMV ring psychedelic experience. Let's go, y'all. Think to yourself, could I be any higher? Then you swear you just seen yourself sit beside ya. Look up in the sky and your world open up. That's that good fun guy, boy. You just woke her up. Yeah. Ever had a good shroom, nigga? Ever seen a blue moon, nigga? Ever been up in your room and your whole shit turn to cartoons, nigga? Ever try to put your thoughts together and all of a sudden straight zoom, nigga? 50 thoughts at one time, yeah, that's good shrooms, nigga. Shit tell you a little bit about yourself, shit might get a little scary, though. Depending on the strength of who you're getting from, all, all trips might vary, though. Fuck with your boy, rain boy, I got the teeth, boy, see you out of space. Only fuck with that high grade shit, can't even feel your motherfucking face. Hold up, man, I'm feeling out of place. Hold up, man, something going on. Hold on, man, I'm feeling eerie, nigga. Hold up, man, these motherfuckers strong. Goddamn, boy, I'm high as fuck, but why I keep on laughing, though? And I keep repeat myself. Why I keep on laughing, though? Goddamn, man, somebody at the dough. I might just have to blast a hoe. Don't really want to, but I had to, though. Hey, somebody got the motherfucking dough. Oh, shit, it's just me all by myself. It's just me, here ain't nobody else. It's just me, here ain't nobody left. Did I just meet my motherfucking death? Hold on, man, am I dead or what? So many motherfucking thoughts in my head, I'm stuck. These goddamn shrooms is tearing me up. This is the last damn time I'm giving them up. Okay, I'm lying, I'm mad at it again. Who the fuck am I kidding? It's my Madison. I'm from Capitol Heights off Addison. Yeah, Central Ave, boy, you do the math, boy. Yeah. Thinking to yourself, could I be any higher? Then you swear you just seen yourself sit beside ya. Look up in the sky and your world open up. That's that good fun guy, boy, you just woke her up. Mazda top is platinum, Maui, golden teachers, B+. Plus. We some black hippies, man, any strain will please us. I don't like to eat them, but I whip a mean tea, though. Shoulda had your head spinning Jackson 5 t so Thinking to myself, this how Jimi Hendrix felt. Then I look down and realize I need to fix my belt. Ho, then I realize I don't have a belt on. Or no fucking pants, yo, my vision's real enhanced, though Look into the walls, man, I can see future And I don't mean the rapper, I can really see the future This weed I'm rolling's green, but right now I see a future Your boy is online and I ain't talking about computers, no Thinking to yourself, could I be any higher? Then you swear you just seen yourself sit beside ya Look up in the sky and your world open up That's that good fun God, boy, you just woke her up
I've come to terms with the fact that my future might not involve people I'm around now. I get tired of doing this every time I try something new. Sometimes I had to walk away from what I want to find what I deserve. I made mistakes in my life. I've learned from my bad choices. I'll know better next time. Don't mention a person's past mistakes when they're trying to change. That's like throwing rocks at them while they're struggling to climb a mountain. Yeah, let's talk about that. But also, let's remember that I say this every day for a reason. This is not only just what I'm saying, but this is something that I live my life by. It's called lifestyle. We need to incorporate what we believe in into our lifestyle. Let's talk about it, y'all, right here on the Boss Lady Side Radio Show. Let's go. What's up, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Boss Ladies Live Radio Show Award winning now. Spreaker Studio, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. Welcome back, welcome back to another show. Thank you, everybody that's tuning in tonight, liking, downloading, and sharing the show a little bit or a lot, whether you chat in the chat room or not. I do appreciate your support tonight. Yes, we are in the Sex Ain't Love series, excuse me for that interruption, Sex Ain't Love series, what's the difference between dating and relationships? And this is also a part of our Boss Lady show, Life, Love, and Leadership. So we're talking about love today, life today, and leadership relationship today. See, I talk about everything. I don't have one set topic. I want to make sure I cover everything because there's somebody out there listening and want to hear something that suits them, something they can relate to. If you're relatable, you can be the best public speaker in the world. And that came from the best public speaker in the world that I listen to. I listen to the best. I only listen to people that has results. Stop listening to people that don't have results. Stop letting people come in your life, disturbing your peace with no results. Results for the better, your greater good. Never compromise that. And I think when we get into relationship, dating, we compromise that. Why should your love be compromised? They need to bring some love with them. They need to bring some happiness with them. Happiness is not someone else's responsibility. Your happiness is your responsibility. Oh my God, that was a dark, dark, deep dig I had I had to deal with. I'm like, this person doesn't make me happy. This person doesn't make me happy because I'm not happy. So no matter what you do, if you're not happy with yourself as a single person, and if you're not living your life as a whole person, not waiting for somebody to complete you, not waiting for somebody to make you happy, it'll never happen. Because you're always saying it to yourself. Nobody makes me happy. 
Nobody this, nobody that. Everybody doing this. Everybody, what are you doing? Are you happy? You wanted to get married? Why aren't you happy? You wanted to date him or her? Why aren't you happy? You wanted that brand new car with a note sticking on top of it. You knew it was 25.9999% interest. And it was going to take the rest of your life and resurrect you and make you live again before you paid it off. Why aren't you happy? Because we don't think about when we make certain decisions that there's consequences behind them. Now, we didn't know nothing else. We know that. But we, we push that to the side because we can't see past what we want. We want so fast, especially when we're young. We want stuff right now. I wish people would get everything they want to find out that it's not everything that they need. A great philosopher said that. But he's just not a philosopher. He's a motivational speaker. He's a life coach. He's all of that stuff. But when I first heard it, I was like, that's some BS. I don't want to hear that. But it's the truth, though. And stop pushing away truth and listening to lies. And then wonder why you're not happy. Who told you that? Who made you believe that? See, whatever you believe upon, your life will follow. Whatever you say to yourself, how you think about yourself, and all the rest of that is going to determine your partner. Who you hook up with. Who you hang around. It starts with you. So... To me, dating is a committed partnership for now. Really later. Because you got to get to know a person first. So many times we jump into dating relationships too fast. We don't get to know the person. Then we start living with them. Then we start acting like we're a couple. Then we start... No, you weren't even friends first. You, you didn't take out the time to get to know and why are you protecting something that's not adding value to you I don't care how long it's been I don't care how much history you have it doesn't mean destiny it's just that person is in your life for a particular season and when it's over it is over you can try to fix it you can try to slice the pie 10 times all different ways but when it's over, it's over. And when it starts, it's beginning. And it doesn't have to come to an end so fast because relationships take work. It took time for you to get this person to talk. It took time for you to get this person to get comfortable with you. Same thing in sales. You can't just expect because you're nice and your product is nice that that person wants to buy it. They don't have to do nothing you want them to do. Stop making decisions for people. It's narcissistic and it's rude and it's irritating and you need to fall back. I don't know who I'm saying this to. Because there's more than one listener on here every single night. Stop making decisions for people. And then when they catch an attitude, they snap and go off. You got a sad face. Because you just made a decision for somebody. You didn't even give them a chance. Dating. is a committed partnership. For now. Yet later. Really later. Down the road. When the rubber meets the road. Is that commitment still there? When it's tough. That's the... That's the relationship. Not when things are easy. Not when you can have it your way at Burger King. No. When the rubber meets the road. When the tough, when the going gets tough, are you tough enough to keep going? Dating. Relationship. You're not really looking around anymore. That's dating to me. I'm not curious. I want you. I just want to be with you i was made for you we will find that out when we get to know each other and if we do not find that out that means we're not meant and we could be together 20 years and it take about 20 years to figure out if you really made for that person it's designed already stop trying to make it another design out of something that's already been put in place this 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 world was here before you got here it's a reason for that 
you designing the path and, and, and leaving stuff alone and, and, and staying in your lane. That's the only way you're going to find out what your journey is about. When you focus on your own lane, dating, relationship or not, you are still an individual. But I think the mistake that we make is that we lose ourselves in the dating relationship pool. So that means what? You wasn't yourself before. What has changed? Go back and figure why you got together in the first place. Was it an agreement? See, I did a show last year called Three Types of People. You got the constituents. You got the comrades. You got the confidants. I think dating falls into the confidant section where you can be yourself. No matter what. You can be ugly. Things like that. And nobody's going to judge you. That's a relationship. Because it's not about how you look. It's really not how, how you act sometimes. It's about you. They love you for who you are. Bad, good, or indifferent. And if you can't handle it, please leave people alone. Like I said in the beginning. What are you looking for? If you're still looking. What, what are you looking for? You get with people and you're still looking. That means you wasn't interested in the dating relationship pool. Let's let's identify what's really good here. You're their go-to person when they make plans. Are this is this person you're interested in are in your plans every single day? Just because they text you good morning doesn't mean they're interested. Just because you went out on a few dates and you talk on the phone a lot doesn't mean that they're interested. They could be doing that with someone else while you're not around. Do you have to question that loyalty? See, loyalty to me is what you do behind my back, not what you do in my face. And it's going to show by how you react to things that I noticed that you didn't think I noticed. It's time to open up our eyes, people, and really start reading people that we are in a relationship with or we're trying to build with. Just listen and you will find out everything you need to know. When you be quiet and listen. And when I was quiet and I started listening, I started figuring out that these so-called dating relationship pool that I was involved in with these X amount of people or this one person, come to find out it wasn't even what I wanted in the first place. If I really would have sat and thought about getting in a relationship with some of these people I was in a relationship with, I really looking back now... Just was like, I didn't even want that to begin with. But I got lonely. I got in my feelings. I could let my emotions overtake me. And so I made a decision and I compromised my happiness for someone else's because I was lonely for the moment. Or we agreed on something so strongly that now we're friends, but that doesn't last. Because one of these old days, you're going to disagree. Then what? Is that relationship still... A relationship are you still committed even though they disagree because like I always say disagreement does not mean betrayal you know you do nothing together nothing you do together is either adding value to the relationship or it's not for instance you meet a homebody you like to be mobile can y'all compromise a little bit? Can you say, well, I like to go out two, three times a week. Well, me, I, two, three times a week, I like to stay home. Well, let's alternate days. Since I like to go out and you like to stay at home, why don't we swap sometimes? Really sit down and have a conversation because it took y'all having a conversation in the first place to even hook up. Why does that stop once you get in a relationship? Why do couples do that once they get married? They think they ain't supposed to keep impressing their mate. I don't know what made you think that. You're supposed to keep dating your mate. You're supposed to keep them interested. Because people get bored and they get tired of doing the same thing over and over. Have you ever considered that? You know? And it takes a lot to love someone else. Especially if you've been selfish all your life. It's just you and you only. Are you? Can you get with that? Can you grow with a person that's trying to change that about themselves? Are you giving them a chance to grow and come to being considerate of others? Did you know that while you were dating? 
That, yeah, I might be a little self. Did they admit it? Did you ask them? Or you just assumed because you were into your feelings. You were into what you was infatuated with. A lot of people are infatuated of the idea of a relationship or the idea of marriage. I was for a long time. Until I shut up and listened. It's not your time to talk because you're upset. It's not your time to talk because you have a have a problem. Because the only way I want to talk about a problem unless you're going to solve it. You know, because the more problems you bring, the more problems you're going to have. And guess what? The more problems you solve, the more problems you're going to have. Hi! <laughs> so there's no... There's no I'm going to meet somebody and all my problems are going to go away. I'm going to meet somebody. It's, get out the fantasy world. Get out an Adam and Eve story. You have no clue what that really means anyway. Stop playing with yourself. And really look at the bigger picture. Are you committed? If you can't commit to a business, you can't get commit to working every day, how in the hell are you going to commit to another person in a relationship? I just want to know. Inquire in mind. Boss Lady Ready, y'all want to know if you can't commit to the little things, how you expect the good Lord to bless you with bigger things? You can't even handle the little things. You want somebody, like I told Miss Taylor today on the interview, if you can't find nobody that you want to follow, please become that person that you want to follow. If you don't want a deadbeat dad, don't be a deadbeat mom. You don't want to meet nobody like that. Don't carry yourself like that. It's a lot of times we bring that stuff in our life because we're carrying ourselves like that. Out of loneliness. Out of, I, I need this, I want that. And it's just, uh, needs and wants ain't the same thing. You want that, but do you necessarily need that at this point? Yeah, I want a car, but do I need one? No. Don't have the finances for it. Don't have the budget for it. Don't have the maintenance money for it. Why would I go out and get a nice car and impress a bunch of people that don't care about me anyway? Why would I get with a guy just to say I got somebody just to impress a whole bunch of people that's going to try to break us up anyway? You in it for the wrong reason then. It's, it, it's what's in it for you. And to that other person, what is in it for them? You want somebody to make you happy. Can you make somebody happy? Can you sacrifice? Or can you be this perfect person you want this person to be to you? They was looking at me like I was crazy. That's, a, that's okay. You're not afraid to rely on someone. It's okay to rely on your, on, your, on your friend. It's okay to rely on your spouse. It's okay to rely. Not hang on. Not suck them dry. Not constantly fussing at them like they need mama. Stop being the man mama. Stop trying to be your girl daddy. Be the man and woman in their life. Be that friend that you were when y'all met. Don't just front just so you can get what you want. And then talking about ends ain't this and women ain't that. And they a bunch of B's and H's. You brung that. You accepted whatever they had to offer. Now you tired of it and now it's everybody else's fault. No, that's your fault. You, you didn't pay attention. Dating. In relationship. That's what dating is about. I ain't missing nothing then. You you can show your ugly. Sometimes I don't want to put makeup on, put my put my weave and my hair, get a bundle and blast out and bling out and be dressed nice. Sometimes I want to be in my bonnet, my gown, and my robe, and I just wanna be I don't wanna be funky. I'll take a bath every day, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I want to dress down. I don't want to wear no bra. I don't want to wear no jeans. I don't want nothing hugging my, my curves. You know, I just want to be loose. Can you handle that? That I'm not going to be diva every damn day. You ain't going to be Superman every, every damn day. And guess what? Superman was really Clark Kent. Clark Kent was not really Superman. For those of us that know what I'm talking about with the Marvel comic thing. You know, you got to believe that though. You got to believe what you say. Because people are watching you. People believe in what you say. And your life ain't even adding up to that. That should make you feel a certain kind of way. That should make you want to change. And everything else will start changing around you once you change what's going on around you. Just like Tyree said, I wish y'all would go to YouTube and look up his motivational speeches. This was something that he said that was very profound and powerful. 
It's not your environment. It's not how you was raised. It's about how you change the way you want your environment to be. If you don't like your environment, you need to change what's going on around you. You probably can't change the people in it, but you can change your situation by how you think about it. It all starts with a thought. Check out that episode, Belief Effects. Because a lot of this stuff that we're going through is because of our lack of belief. A lot of money we don't have, a lot of vacations are going, our businesses can't go the way it's supposed to go because we don't believe it. And we got to be honest, you ain't got to tell me, but raise your hand, how many people say one thing, and it's so much conviction and it sounds so good, but deep down you're like, I can't believe I just said that. There you go. You need to believe it. You could you could believe that you have a great relationship. You need to believe that you got happiness to bring to the table. You got good energy to bring to the table. It's not their responsibility to make sure that you straight. You got to make sure you straight. And I'm telling you, by experience, when I started making sure I was straight, I didn't have to ask for help because help just came out of nowhere. I learned that today. I didn't know I was getting... Nobody wants to talk to me about my life, my story, why I started this, why am I doing this? And No, it wasn't time yet. So we always try to rush and push past our time, especially with this dating relationship. Some of us ain't even ready for a relationship. We ain't even got a relationship with ourselves. So how in the hell are we going to have a relationship with somebody else? It all starts with you. Personal development. And it's very much needed in this society. Because we think of ourselves in selfish motives. We don't think about ourselves enough to change our motive for the greater good of everybody. Because just like you're looking for a benefit in the relationship, so is the other person. Are you good? Are you that blase, skippy, whatever it is? You know. You've integrated this person into your existing social life. Well, I talked to a friend that can you talk to them about other people besides y'all? Can other people come around where it won't bring a, a wedge between what y'all got going on? Can, can that happen for you? But 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 as a single person, can you handle distractions without getting off focus? Because whatever you take in your single life, just because you got married don't mean that's going to change. If you're not working to change it. You can have nine husbands. You can have ten wives. If you ain't working on you, every relationship you got is going to lead to destruction because you're destructive to yourself. So that's how people going to treat you. You teach people how to treat you. And it's all mutual at the end of the day. But let's see what the successful people have to say about the difference between dating versus relationships. And let's get some EDU in our lives. Dating versus relationships, the real difference, September 14, 2016 by Colleen Healy. And we're going to find that at Zeusk.com slash date dash mix slash relationship dash advice slash relationship dash stages. Yes, every relationship has stages slash dating versus relationships dash verse dash relationships dash real dash difference and it says we've all experienced that confusion zone between casually dating someone and calling it a real relationship so how do you know when you two are there dating versus relationships the main difference between dating and being in a relationship is that people in a relationship are connected by a mutual commitment to each other you and the person you're with have agreed, either officially or unofficially, <laughs> hello, that you're seeing each other exclusively and are in a partnership together. However, most of the time, it's not so black and white. Sometimes that area between just dating and being in a committed relationship can get a little gray. That's why we came up with a list of signs that your casual fling has taken a turn into relationship territory. You're not really looking around anymore. If you're dating around, but someone special has pulled ahead of the pack to the point where you let the others fall off, you've stepped into relationship territory. Alternatively, if you're still on your dating site of choice and you're not compelled to message anyone new or even log in, you've been bitten. And maybe it's time to think of your romance in relationship terms. 
They're your go-to person when you make plans. When you read about something fun going on or the movie we're dying to see comes out, is this person you your no-brainer first call? If you're invited to an office party, is the first thing you consider whether or not you get to bring a plus one? Do you check and see if this person is free before you commit to other plans? Oh my God, that's a good question. Did you check and see If this person is free before you commit to other plans or are you just planning and planning and planning and expecting them to go along with it? If the answer to any of these is yes, then it's a sign that you're beginning to picture a life in which they're a mainstay. You do nothing together. Common sign that your fling is getting relationshipy is when your plans don't necessarily involve any, you know, plans. If your sweetheart is content sitting on the couch and watching Saturday afternoon movies while you fold laundry, some walls have come down and you're clearly comfortable involving your person in the less glamorous aspects of your everyday life. You're not afraid to rely on someone. Is there a level of comfort when you have to ask your person for a favor? If you're confident they'll be there for you when you need them, you've established a level of trust that's healthy at the beginning of a relationship and you're probably in good shape to take it to the exclusive level. You show your ugly. Ugly, meaning any raw and real behavior that you typically keep under wraps when you first getting to know someone. Maybe you schedule a date right after a visit to the gym and you have no intention of showering first. Maybe you go a day or four without shaving. Maybe you expose your guilty pleasure when you insist on watching the entirety of the Kardashians marathon. (laughs) Please. Maybe you cry whatever Kermit the Frog is on TV. (laughs) Whatever it is, you show your real side because you're confident this person will still hang around. You've integrated this person into your existing social life. Not only have you introduced this special someone to your friends, but your friends like the person and often extend them an invite when they are making plans with you. If your friends say embarrassing stuff about you and your sweetie doesn't look all freaked out, it means he or she has gotten to know you on the same personal level. And that's a great sign. If your person gets along with friends, it's further indication that they're interested in the real authentic you. Mm-hmm. It's all mutual. The most important thing is that this list goes both ways. And this requires that awful, what are we, conversation we are usually happy to avoid. It's a necessary evil, however, because you don't want to make assumptions based on the other person's behavior. Some people just need different things in order to be all in. There's nothing worse than being 100% in And learning that your sweetheart isn't on the same page. Uh Uh-huh. The best way to approach the conversation is to give the person you're interested in a heads up before the conversation if you can. Let this person know you've been thinking about where you two are and you like to talk about it. That way, the person can also come to the table prepared to tell you what he or she wants and needs. And if this person isn't quite in the relationship zone yet... Don't fret. Letting someone know you're open to it may push the relationship to the next level. After all, putting yourself out there is the scariest part. And that is our EDU for our lives. Yep. So when we come back, we're going to do some quote for the day. Get on the pot of here on this Teaching Tuesday. Stay tuned. Lion ass, Miss Fabulous. Get your lion ass out of here. Out of here. Out of here. All the damn time. Mm, 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 mm. One thing is another. Always One got the thing is another. Always got the story. What you need. Lion 
last Union said she need you to stay with your, your lying ass, ass. ass. But you, but you loving on me loving with on your me. lying ass Love is a strong word Lenzo beat. Yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. 100K, no cap, I'm too on. Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold. Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. 100K, no cap, I'm too on. Pocket says on pray go, I'm too on. Travel in the space coupe, too gone. Book a show, now I'm headed out to Tucson. You wanna know why? Cause I'm too on. Too on. Too on. Get a low, you haul Pass it out like a rocket, Chris Paul Keep the crown, I'm the king, LeBron Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold Run it up, run it up, need a new home Honey K, no cap, I'm too on Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold Run it up, run it up, need a new home Honey K, no cap, I'm too on Ever since I was young, I've been too on Running up them racks if you really need to know 100K, no cap, cause I need a new home Money mad on the move, I'm chasing figure rope This the game when it's shopping a roll At the double O's where I'm from You ain't taking nothing you don't own You talk a whole lot of wreck I can't go, I got my eyes locked on The prize, the bank rolls Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold Run it up, run it up, need a new home 100K, no cap, I'm too on Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold Run it up, run it up, need a new home 100K, no cap, 
I'm too on, too on, too on. When I was broke, I couldn't even get a loan. Bills on bills, so I had to stay home. Started in the streets, so I had to lay low. Turn legit, hit the gas even more. Drop a hit after hit. Ask the people they know. I'm in several magazines. Front page will be mo. In another hip hop mag, with me it goes. I'm a award winning artist, bars colder than a freezer. I only work if you got a budget on a feature. Work hard for every inch I achieve, bruh. Travel state to state to spread my message of me. Now this what you want, I'ma drop and we will see. Got in a position and put myself out of reach. I've been told since a kid the top, it'll never be. Now I'm on the move, I ain't landing no CME. Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold. Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. Honey K, no cap, I'm too on. Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold. Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. Honey K, no cap, I'm too on. Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold. Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. Honey K, no cap, I'm too on. Cubans on my neck, yeah, it's too cold. Got a bad little chick, yeah, she too cold. Run it up, run it up, need a new home. Honey K, no cap, I'm too on. Baby, making love, Laurie D. Edward.
like I wanna, Lena late. Girl, you like my favorite drink. Intoxicated off of you. Something like my favorite strain. So can I take a hit of you? Cause you know how. Touch it like I want, about to put my hands on on you, girl. If you see it, you got it, man. I promise you can have the world. I can think of no one else. You the one that's always first. Any day without you is the day that I've been cursed. About to lay you down in that bed, mm. helping you undress. Yeah. You stunting on them, baby. You got all these bitches upset. Cause I know that you're the best. This about as good as it gets. Mm. Yeah. Anybody that touched you is the day they put to rest. You be on that fly shit. I be getting high shit. Never going back to when I can't afford to buy shit Death look at you crazy if you ask about a side chick Ain't got no time to fuck around, busy making the guys like my favorite yeah. drink Intoxicated off of you Something like my favorite strain So can I take a hit of you? Can I take a hit of you? Cause you know how I like Alright like Alright like Yeah Tell me, baby, we gon' make it. Yeah. And motherfuck whoever hate you. Cause your love is the truth, don't get it confused. I'll bend over backwards like Matrix. With me, you have always had patience. Always. To you, I ain't in the way. Yeah. Protecting you always for life. Anybody hurt you, they gon' pay. Whatever you need, just say so. Cause it's a done deal, case closed. Nothing else in this world more important than you, the fam, accounting the pesos. I stay in my place and you do. But shit only move if you say so. We can travel all over this world, me and you, if it's okay though. Do you want it like that? The type of shit that will have you run it back? Do you got love for me despite my past? So many questions, but I gotta ask. Cause I'm in it for life. For you, I'll never think twice. Round for you all day and night. Fuck all that hate out of spite. Just focus on me, baby. I'll get you right. Play. Intoxicated off of you Something like my favorite strain So can I take a hit of you? Can I take a hit of you? Cause you know how I like it Yeah, I wanna Touch it like I wanna Right Do it like I wanna Yeah Glamour and Grits, the Drug Brothers. Tell me what's the cost of getting rich I cut those friendships on my soul, why should I be? And you know I never wanted fame They say the glamour and the glitz could make you change I'm never changing for a dollar nor a bitch I'd rather spend it all with the squad getting lit 
So I ain't never been in it but a pain They say the glamour and the glitz will make you change But your glamour and glitz you know Your you bright know. lights don't face me you know Your bright lights don't face me No, they don't what would you sacrifice knowing you had a night and a potential to have a life? Tell. Possibly be big as Gladys Knight. Yeah. Or you must be going off the acid hype. Uh. I've been through endeavors and stormed through the weather on many occasions. This tragic life Bad. has mentally prepped me. No failure can stress me if I'm blessed to see what my talent like. They tell me don't fuck with the industry. Stay independent and buzz out my energy. Honestly, trying to dissolve masculinity. Put you in dresses that you love that no shit is for bitch. I'm sorry, but that shit offended me. Facts. No stardom should cost me no dignity. At so all. I had to barter my century for hatred against me. There's none complimentary. There's none complimentary. Cash flow, the fast life in these bad hoes. Let me Question these boys ever had so First they was on a block deck of task force Now it's rumors that they take it up the ass so These niggas bitches no different than women Who don't see the value within them these folks They trade their life to be trending this sickening I told you that spotlight is venom Now my grain has been a point Nothing can touch the anointing Fuck your fame I don't want it I made it right off the corner Put a huncher when that's always Hollywood now we're God's place This firearm is like all state Till we leave the piss inside the hallway Tell me what's the cost of getting rich I could lose friendships on my soul, why should I pay? They don't wanna choose And you know I never wanted fame no, They say no. the glamour and the glitz can make you change I'm never changing for a dollar nor a bitch I'd rather spend it all with the squad getting lit So I ain't never been in it for the fame They say the glamour and the glitz will make you change But your glamour and glitz your bright lights don't face you. Your bright lights don't face you. No, I remember wishing no fallen star for a better living. Cause times were tough, plus we struggled to keep a pot to piss in. That fast money gave all to equals, but seemed appealing. But watch our money close, close his brothers to opposition. We see what happens when money enters in the equation. Came from the mud, not the glamour and glitz to start to change it. I came from nothing, so when I'm up, G, we all gon' flourish. Let pop on rocks and see how the squad staying properly nourished. I walk the bottom, may raise my shoulders with Never bother, make sure my legacies never have to go ask a problem. So now I see why most people with it unhappy now. The solid ones out the pitch and the snakes are slithering around. Feelings are envious, since it's your aura bring. In our relations and friendships, sinks to a sudden end. I'm about my paper for fame and fortune, I cannot change. Signing my soul for a dollar, shit, I would not arrange. Tell me what's the cost of getting rich. I could lose friendships on my soul, why should I be? They don't wanna choose And you know I never wanted fame no, They say no. the glamour and the glitz could make you change. change I'm never changing for a dollar nor a bitch I'd rather spend it all with the squad getting lit. getting lit So I ain't never been in it for the fame They say the glamour and the glitz will make you change Fuck your glamour and glitz your bright lights don't face you. Your bright lights don't face you. No, they don't. Yes, we are back with quote for the day coming from Total Personal Development, your all-in-one personal development product powered by success on demand. You know what I'm saying? Really need to get this total personal development in your life. It helps with attitude, helps with changing your mind, helps you with all that stuff. But particularly, we're going to talk about creating powerful relationships through listening, creating powerful relationships through listening most of us think we're good listeners even if you know you've got some room see most of us think we're good listeners even if you think you've got some room for improvement you're likely overestimating your skills says michael p nichols phd author of the lost art of listening how learning to listen can improve relationships 
Nichols says most of us fall prey to three myths about listening that we picked up over the course of our lives. These myths stand in the way not just of clear communication, but of trust, intimacy, and even relationship success. The yearning to be heard is a yearning to escape our isolation and bridge the space that separates us, Nichols says. We reach out and try to overcome that separateness by revealing what's on our minds and in our hearts, hoping for understanding. Getting that understanding should be simple, but it isn't. Nichols says that the essence of good listening is empathy. Most of us misunderstand how to show that empathy. Let's take a look at the myths that could contribute to the downfall of a relationship, personal or professional, and how to bust them. Myth number one, sharing your own experience is the same as showing empathy. When a friend shares a joyful or painful experience, you might think of something similar you've been through and want to share it. But keep in mind that this ping pong effect of jumping from your friend's issue to yours might just feel like stealing the attention. Your friend might feel discounted and unappreciated. Rather than showing empathy, sharing your own experience can seem like making the conversation all about you. In these moments, refrain from sharing all of your story. If you want to mention that you have a similar experience, do just that. Mention it. But you don't need to go into detail or tell the specifics of your experience unless your friends ask to hear more. Also, be sure your friend is finished telling their entire story or sharing all of their feelings before you jump in and share your own. Giving someone the floor to get out their feelings shows an unselfish concern for what they're going through. In other words, it shows empathy. Myth number two, if you were stronger, you wouldn't need anyone to listen to your feelings. Wow, why did I just hear this? This myth is one we are often guilty of ourselves. Here's an example from Nichols. You prepare a presentation at work that will eventually be sent to a client. The salesperson who will send the presentation to the client comes with you to meet your boss and update her on the presentation status. During the meeting, the salesperson completely takes over and talks to your boss the entire time, leaving you out of your own presentation. You're furious and hurt. After work, you feel the urgent need to talk to someone about what happened and how you're feeling. When no one answers the phone or your spouse isn't in a great mood to listen, you feel sorry for yourself. Then maybe you start to tell yourself you shouldn't need anyone to listen. Maybe you feel insecure or needy. You buy into the myth that if you were stronger, you wouldn't need anyone. Nichols says this is simply isn't true. That we need listening and understanding from others our entire lives. It is a natural part of being human. Listening nourishes our sense of worth, he says. All of us, no matter how secure and well-adjusted, need attention to sustain us. To turn this myth on its head, allow yourself the strengthening power of someone else's listening ear when you need it. And then do the same for others. Be there. Answer the phone. Meet for an hour after work with a co-worker. Or have lunch with a friend. These moments of support for others, where your main goal is just to listen to your friends' feelings, nourish their sense of value, and fortify your relationships. Myth number three. Reassuring someone is the same as listening. So if you're listening without making it about you and you're responding to people's urgent need to feel heard, isn't that enough? It depends on how you're receiving their words. Are you judging them? Are you offering immediate suggestions for how they could handle a situation before they even ask for your input? Are you skipping over their negative feelings and telling them everything will be okay? Being heard means being taken seriously, Nichols says. We must listen to people express their thoughts and feelings, acknowledge them, and allow them to have their own experience that, they, that may be different from our own. Perhaps you've lost someone in your family before and your friend is grieving their first death in the family. While you might have taken a few moments to grieve, your friend might need a shorter or longer time. Allowing your friend to have its own experience without discounting his need for a certain period of grief is taking him seriously. Of course, Nickel also points to a few key listening tools. 
not interrupting, asking interesting questions, and even repeating what someone said. Each of these tools show empathy and make the other person feel heard and understood. Falling prey to these myths can seriously damage or even end your relationships. Not being listened to makes us feel ignored and unappreciated, cut off and alone, Nichols says. But learning to listen with real empathy can create lasting bonds with others from a sense of self-worth and connection. You can provide some much-needed nourishment to the people in your life. As Nichols says, the need to be known, to have our experience understood and accepted by someone who listens is food and drink to the human heart. And that is our quote for the day. More coming up with Sex Ain't Love series. That's really all I had to say, y'all. Good afternoon, morning, and evening. And I will see you soon on the next show. Peace. We are now transferring you to a customer care room. Please hold the line and we will answer your call at 3 o'clock. Thank you for choosing. By the way, to ensure you're getting great service, your call may be recorded or monitored.